I've been wanting to run a blend of turpentine and waste vegetable oil uh, for quite some time. The advantage of that is that it becomes a, a wholly biodiesel or a, a diesel fuel that is of renewable uh, and biological and non-petroleum resources, whereas diesel or biodiesel is typically made from uh, uh, a reaction w uh, that includes methanol, and, that, and the methanol typically comes from petroleum sources, not from uh, biological sources. So, so uh, turpentine uh, blended with vegetable oil really is our best chance at a, at a wholly biologically sourced uh, diesel fuel. And so I went looking around Tucson uh, for turpentine sources. And I found that the price of turpentine has skyrocketed uh, in the last year or so. But I found a few one gallon cans of it at $15 a gallon. It's now selling normally at $25 a gallon. So I saved myself $10 a gallon buying it uh, the last few uh, remaining cans at $15 a gallon. Now $15 a gallon is, uh, is extremely expensive for a blending agent when gasoline is only uh, $3.25 a gallon here in town. However, uh, people who live in countries where there's a large forest product uh, industry may find uh, turpentine a lot cheaper than gasoline in their region. And therefore, I wanted to do this experiment just to, uh, for those people who have an uh, inexpensive source of turpentine. After conducting my uh, experiments with uh, dissolving various solvents into waste oils, I discovered that, uh, among other solvents, turpentine would dissolve readily into waste vegetable oil and waste motor oil. And realizing that turpentine is uh, a product of the forest industry, making it a biological source of fuel and a renewable source of fuel, I thought it would be wise to work on blending it uh, more seriously and even running it on my vehicle. So I've blended up a 20 gallon uh, tank of of, uh, that contains 80% uh, waste vegetable oil to 20% uh, turpentine and, uh, and I'm about to run it on my engine probably tomorrow and I'm pretty confident it'll probably run just fine uh, it, uh, it hasn't had any uh, negative effect on the vinyl hose that I use as a sight glass when the vinyl hose uh, gets weak like this which in this tank is just straight gasoline, then I know there's there could be a problem with that uh, fuel source when the percentage of gasoline drops down to about 20% instead of 100% as it is in this uh, tank, then uh, this hose will straighten out. Anyway, this hose uh, with the turpentine and the, and the vegetable oil, it's not stretched out, so I, I, I'm gonna assume or I can safely assume that the uh, seals in my injector pump and my fuel hoses will probably be able to handle the blend with no problem. There are some globs floating at the top of my uh, blend of turpentine and uh, vegetable oil that are curious. Uh, most of the time the precipitates uh, settle out. This one seems to be floating. I have a feeling it's uh, left over glycerin from the previous experiment with uh, blending gasoline with diesel, uh, biodiesel. So the advantage of using uh, turpentine as a blending agent with vegetable oil to make uh, diesel fuel is turpentine is a byproduct of the forest industry. It's not a primary product. Whereas making ethanol uh, out of food crops ends up being a primary product when it should be a secondary product. And when ethanol production becomes a primary product of the food industry, then that drives up the price of food, which we don't want to happen. What we want is, is our fuel production, or our, let's say our renewable production of fuel, 
to be a secondary product of the food industry, which, if it was, would uh, basically drive the price of food down, not up. So anyway, I'm going to run uh, this 20-gallon tank full of turpentine uh, through my engine and uh, report back on how it runs on my engine. I just finished driving 150 miles on a blend of turpentine at 20% and vegetable oil at 80%. My engine ran just fine, uh, although the injectors had been somewhat coked up before that by a previous uh, waste motor oil experiment. Uh, it took about 100 miles on the uh, a turpentine blend to clear the injectors. So uh, the injectors are now clear. Uh, the engine is running good. And uh, so 20% uh, turpentine to 80% vegetable oil turns out to be a viable uh, fuel blend that seems to be good for clearing the injectors. This is a sample of uh, my uh, fuel experiment with 80% uh, vegetable oil and 20% turpentine. Uh, this is unfiltered. This is just from settling. And as you can see, the sample is pretty clean. There are a few particles at the bottom of the container, but not much. And of course, once it's filtered, uh, there will be no particle. So now we're, what we're going to do is uh, test our sample of turpentine that we extracted from the bottom of the fuel tank after drawing off the sludge and we're going to measure its vis viscosity and specific gravity. So I'm going to uh, put my sample into my 500 milliliter graduated cylinder. And then we will measure its temperature first so that we can calibrate our measurements against the standard. <clears throat> so we're just going to go with 69.0 Fahrenheit, which is roughly 20 point 20.4 centigrade. So now let's check the specific gravity. The specific gravity is 0 0.890. So it's significantly more dense than diesel fuel, but it nonetheless ran excellently in my diesel engine. And it smells really good. It smells almost good enough to eat. And you know what? I think if somebody ate this, it probably would, you know, if you ate a small amount of it, it probably would make you sick. Turpentine and vegetable oils, that's probably medicine. So I, it's a little viscous for the type 0 hydrometer or uh, uh, vis cup. So let's try measuring it with the type 1 vis cup and see what we get. All in all, I'd say 20% uh, turpentine to 80% vegetable oil would normally be too viscous uh, fuel. Uh, if this were gasoline plus uh, vegetable oil, I'd say that'd be too viscous. But it ran, it ran fine. So now let's try the number one vis cup. All right, in the number one vis cup, it was 59 seconds. This is my engine starting up at operating temperature on a blend of 80% vegetable oil to 20% turpentine. As 
you can see, uh, there's very little exhaust uh, for a 27-year-old diesel engine. That's pretty good. And uh, I've noticed that the exhaust smells kind of sweet, maybe a little bit like, uh, yeah, quite a bit like uh, pine uh, scented, like it, uh, like the forest. Can you imagine if all the automobiles in the city drove on this fuel, the cities would smell like forests.